All right, folks, Pachini's Idiot, we are back on Criminal Case on Facebook. Now, we're going to be heading to the last case of Century Mile. Which, unfortunately, unfortunately uh, Celine Georges is dead. Well, the World Exhibition has been a wonder of marvel of modern innovation. Ace, from steam-powered flying machines to Charles and Rich's DNA machine. The event has, however, been overshadowed by murder. The competition for the grand prize suffered from repeat instances of sabotage. Some inventions, like the steam pack, have been outright eliminated. Others, like the chess machine, have a much lower chance of winning after they were tampered with. Yeah, someone is clearly manipulating competition, so Stanley Sparks' exosuit is victorious, but he himself claims innocence. Well, the winner is set to be announced tonight, Ace. We must be on a guard. Oh, seeing Trooper A's permanent eruption. We must come quickly. The exhibition tower. There's Constable Ramirez, is it? Yes, that magnificent construction is finished at last, but that's nothing to worry about. You must understand it, Detective Von Someone's been found dead at the bottom of the tower. Another murder on the final night of the exhibition? Ace, we must investigate the tower at once. So we were right. Everyone was thinking it was either Celine Georges or Stanley Spark. Ah, she broke her leg. That's horrible. Oh heavens, Ace Ramirez was correct. That poor woman is deceased. Unless I'm mistaken, that's Celine Georges, the inventor of the chess baton. It appears Miss Georges fell from the top of the tower. And those bruises on her face and arm indicate she was involved in some sort of scuffle. This is no accident. Celine was murdered. We know Miss Georges was determined to catch the individual behind the exhibition sabotage, but this have costed her her life. That torn photograph might be the answer. I'll fetch your adhesive tape ace. And that pistol is a regulation firearm of the Concordia police. What is it doing here? Let's use that faded engraving to track down the careless officer. Even the final evening of the World Exhibition cannot escape the specter of murder. Let us away, Ace. Third work to be done. That's nasty. Ugh, I hate to drop from that height. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, Stanley Sparks is going to be kind of the main person. But we'll see. Like, that everyone thinks it's going to be. Oh. Well, that photograph you reassembled of the victim, Celine Georges. And you're right, Ace. The other woman is the inventor Greta Gunwood, whose color photography camera was tampered with. The ladies appear younger in this photograph. They must have been friends for some time. Meaning, it is our inevitable duty to inform this gunman of her friend's demise. She would have been someone that flew, flew under the uh, radar for sure. But anyways guys, I gotta grab some stars. I'll see you guys in a little bit. This has been Pachini's Idiot. Au revoir. Alright folks, Pachini's Idiot, we're back. Let's start investigating some stuff. Oops. Right. Andrew Wright. Do what my eyes deceive me, Ace? That engraving indicates that this firearm belongs to Chief Wright. It's one thing for a weapon behind the ears officer to be careless with a weapon, but the Chief? Peculiar development. One that only Chief can explain. I agree. Let's have a word with him. That's not good. That's not good at all. Yeah, Mass Effect and Drama, I actually have the game. I did a little preview of it. I'm totally willing to uh, be doing it when I get some time, hopefully this weekend. 
I think happened soon, Trooper Ace. Celine, I saw him fall from the upper deck of the exhibition tower. Wait, you witnessed Miss George's murder? You saw the dastardly assailant? Murder? This wasn't an accident? Oh, she was too high up. I didn't see anything, Senior Trooper Ace. You must find out who did this. Celine and I may have been rivals, but we've been friends for many years. The scientific world is dominated by men. It was encouraging to have someone like Celine around. Who would do such a thing? We don't know yet. Senior Trooper Ace will not rest until that question is answered. Well, this is unusual, Ace. We found an eyewitness to the motive, but perhaps he was too high from his gunwood to see anything. Obviously, our next move is to investigate the exhibition tower's upper deck, where Miss George's fell from. Onward and upward. It's right on time. I just finished securing the area. Heinous crime, the murder of yet another World Exhibition finalist on the very night the grand prize will be awarded. Heinous indeed, Chief. However, forgive my impertinence, I wonder how your pistol came to be left at the crime scene. My pistol? Oh, heaven, days, you're right. In all the confusion, I must have misplaced it. I was strolling around the exhibition when I heard a scream coming from the tower. Whenever that's what had happened, I dispatched Constable Ramirez immediately. Yeah, you mustn't feel awkward, Ace. I know you have no choice but to file me as a suspect. Continue with this investigation as you would any other. By the book. Interesting. Life science, transportation, entertainment, technology. So we can find. All right. So what are we looking at for? Okay. So measuring tape, star, even binoculars, trash cans. Obviously, going to be a clue. Celine George has died. For those of you guys who came a little late, 50 viewers at once. What? What? Well, this is a glorious panorama of Concordia days, but there's no time to admire the view. This platform is so close to the public, greatly narrowing our field of investigation looking for Miss George's killer. Capital thinking, Ace, we knew the victim fought before she fell. Perhaps the killer touched these binoculars during the skirmish. Let's dust them for fingerprints. And if Miss George's killer discarded evidence, it may be in that trash can. Let's see what you can find, Ace. It's not what you expect to find in the trash. The killer must have discarded this after the foul deed. It's an unusual denomination, A, certainly not a Concordian shilling. We should send the specimen to Evie to see what she can make of it. Interesting. Wow, a lot of fingerprints on this. Surprisingly. But then work, Ace, you found fingerprints on these few binoculars. Let's compare these prints to the archives to see if we'll find a match. Will do. Will do. What match did we do? Who could this be? Boom. Doesn't surprise me. Ace, hey, so the fingerprints you retrieved from these binoculars belong to Stanley Spock. The person who would benefit the most from Celine George's elimination from the contest. I know we couldn't go to Spock on suspicion alone, but his fingerprints on our crime scene are more than sufficient. Surely we will find Mr. Spock at tonight's festivities. Oh, he's dressed up in a suit. 
Nice. What's up, Stanley? Mark my words, said Trooper Ace. Tonight, mankind's crowning achievement, my exosuit will be declared the winner of the exhibition contest, crushing my competition. An intriguing choice of words, Mr. Spark, considering one of your rivals, Celine George's, was found crushed at the bottom of the exhibition tower. Wait, what? Celine, George Celine is dead? Yes, yeah, she got into a fight at the top of the tower and plummeted to her death, and we found your fingerprints at the crime scene. Wait, are you implying that I did it? It's not enough to accuse me of sabotage, but now you're saying me I'm a killer? I was really admiring the glorious view of Concordia, old chap. I told you before, I don't need to murder anyone to win. My exosuit is beyond anything Miss Georges could even dream of. The fusion of man and machine. The human mind augmented by robotics. That's enough, Mrs. Spark. Save your speech for another time. Alright, let's speed this thing up. How did you know about my hobby, Ace? Once I've polished the blood away, this is going to make a fine addition to my collection. Oh my gosh, what have you done, Evie? That blood was evident. Well, I knew that. By looking from the blood of his victims an hour ago. Oh, Evelyn Holloway, you must never do that again. I apologize. Nevertheless, once my had established the coin was the killer, just took a closer look at the design. It's not a coin at all. Or at least, it isn't currency. This is a limited edition World of Ex Exhibition token, which can be exchanged for a hot air balloon ride. So are they saying the killer was planning on taking a hot air balloon ride? Uplifting clue, Ace. You'll bring Miss George's killer back down to Earth in quick order. What appears to be being an inventor at the World Exhibition is a hazardous to one's health, Ace, and I'm grateful Charles and I are still alive. So are we. Much to a relief, Richard. How did your autopsy of the unfortunate Miss George's yield any clues? Indeed, and it's all about the hands. A person's hands are a veritable treasure trove of clues. First, handprints on the victim's chest prove beyond a doubt that Miss George's was pushed from the tower. She literally died at the hands of the assailant. Additionally, I found traces of sponge sugar residue in the handprints. In other words, cotton candy. Ah, so the killer was eating the popular confection before they fought the charm. But it doesn't stop there. Clutching in the victim's hands was a tuft of purple thread torn from the killer during the struggle, so keep an eye out for a purple garment. We shall indeed, but there's no sugar coating this, Ace. We're looking for a killer who eats cotton candy. Yeah, Evelyn Holloway. Well, the World Exhibition was meant to be a showcase of mankind's achievements, but it has been continually tarnished by sabotage and murder. Competition contender Celine Georges was pushed from the top of the Exhibition Tower, falling to her death. It's tempting to think that Stanley Spark, who has benefited the most by sabotaging efforts, is the logical suspect in Miss Georges' murder. But there isn't enough evidence to make an accusation. Greta Gunwin, the victim's friend, says she witnessed the crime, albeit from a distance. Then there's Chief Wright, who misplaced the pistol at the crime scene. If we're gonna get anywhere, Ace, aren't you ready? We must hurry. Ready for what, Charles? The award ceremony. Leopold Rechester is about to announce the winner of the World Exhibition. I hope you win, Charles. But we'll see you in chapter two. This is my pitching is idiot. Over and out.